Hey folks, Uncle Jay, and I am here in the tour bus with Marcus Luttrell. Now, there was some good news in the Navy SEAL community recently when Mike Monsoor's Medal of Honor was approved. Marcus, you knew Mike, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. What can you tell us about him? Hey, he's a good kid, uh, great SEAL, great frogman, everybody liked him. He was a solid operator, hard worker, uh, you know, he was young in his career. Now, Mike got that award for falling on a grenade on a rooftop in Ramadi. You knew some of the folks he saved by doing that, didn't you? Yeah, I do. I know the guys that are out there. But, um, yeah, what do you what do you say to somebody who does something like that? I mean, it's uh, it's unbelievable. It's the ultimate act of, sac you know, selflessness and sacrifice to uh, to give your life. You, you, I mean, you know what's going to happen as soon as that thing rolls in there. And it, there's a multitude of things that go through your head and when that happens, but, you know, the guy who who ponies up and, and jumps on it. And I'm sure every guy in there would have done it. I mean, he's just had one having to see it, you know, and, and, and take advantage of it. And it cost him his life. But that's just something that he would do. That's something that every one of those guys in there would have done, without a doubt. Uh, the, and I don't think there's any question whether or not he should have got the Medal of Honor at all. So. I don't think there was either. And uh, unfortunately, that's uh, been adding to the numbers of, of special operators who are getting rewards for making tremendous sacrifices. Well, it's good to see him rewarded for it, and uh, hopefully that'll give his family a little comfort, and uh, you'll let the rest of the folks know that that's the, how folks operate in the special operations community. Yeah, I hope so too. Thank you. Right on. Thanks, Marcus. All right.